Hello, this is Juz. Today I'm just making a short video uh, for people that are having the same problem I have had today, which is XCOM 2. Uh, since the patch, major patch was released, I think it was today the 11th, 11th being Australian, so it might be the 10th for you Yanks, but the major update performance patch is not uh, allowing you to start the game. XCOM 2 is crashing, so what was happening for me I would run XCOM 2 from Steam, I would get the launcher menu, that would come up. Once I hit play, um, it would well, it would kick off the application, XCOM 2 would start to run. As soon as it went full screen black, as in XCOM 2 was loading, I would get a crash desktop with a Windows error report being generated. So, someone was throwing their toys out of the pram pretty early. Wasn't wasn't how much fun with it. Now, I run uh, Iron Man, and I run quite a few mods. So the last thing I wanted to do was reinstall and start over. So I went through this process and it ended up working for me. So I'll just go through the steps I went through and hopefully it works for someone else. First thing I did was, because I'm mucking around with saves, I went to the properties of XCOM 2 and disabled the Steam Cloud Sync. All right, just It speeds up things when you're loading them and doesn't it takes the save stuff out of the equation. When you're moving save files later, it won't uh, won't cock things up for you. So do that. Next thing is to verify your integrity of game cache. This worked for some people. It didn't work for me. Uh, it would update a file. Uh, I think it was three times I tried, and each time it updated a file, but none of those times was I able to actually run the game. So it was uh, it was just dicking around, wasting my time, which is awesome. The next thing you will want to try is as I said for me I was able to get to the launcher so if you're not even getting this far oh, sorry nothing I've got here is going to help you so I'd run XCOM 2 which takes a minute even though I've got cloud synchronization turned off it's still slow as shit right so these are all my mods I've got quite a few I disabled the mods one by one so that was awesome didn't take much time at all, sarcasm, sarcasm, it was shit. So, if you've got an absolute ton of mods, I'm not sure how, you might want to just go into your workshop and unsubscribe all your mods. Uh, that might be easier. But then obviously you'll have to go get them back later, but uh, whatever works for you. So I disabled all the mods and tried running the game. That didn't work either. My next step was to uh, copy out my save file and my profile.bin. So all the files in Documents, My Games, XCOM 2, XCOM Game, Save Data. Grab all your files, these are all your saves, so obviously you want to keep. And just create a backup folder, one up. You don't have to put it anywhere fancy, just yeah, backup save data. Once these are all safe, delete your save data folder. Okay. Now, after that I tried running the game again, didn't work. With mods still disabled, didn't work. So, the next thing I did, it's a bit strange, but it worked for me, so it might work for someone else. I actually did what is flushing the uh, profile cache from your Steam profile. Yeah, it's a bit, bit weird. How you do that, I'm in Windows 10, so you want to get to the Run menu for Windows 10. Right click your Start icon, go Run. And that's what you put in Steam colon double forward slash flush config. Now this um, sort of removes the cache from your profile. So the first thing will happen is you'll have to log back into Steam. So obviously you want to know your username and password before you do that. Uh, that that's uh, it, yeah, it sort of just gets rid of the cache. So I did that. I logged back into Steam. I actually quit Steam and started it up again. Now. Once Steam was started, I ran XCOM 2 again, just to see what it had changed. And this whole section of the mods is actually, for me, it was gone. It was empty. So, yeah. at that time, I was a little annoyed, but it's not end of the world material. You can always go get your mods. As long as your saves are safe, mods are fine. So, I then ran the game, and it worked. I got all the way into XCOM 2. One thing I couldn't do was auto-detect graphic settings, it would keep auto-detecting maximum and I should be able to run maximum. I don't know if that's a bug with a patch or not. I think it might be because that shouldn't be affected by Steam. That should be internal to the game. Anyway, so that was the only problem I had. I could 
play the game and shit. So I quit. The next thing I wanted to do, because my mods were gone, I wanted to verify that the actual data is still there. And the way you do that is you go to your Steam directory, you go to Steam Apps Workshop Content, 268500 is XCOM 2. All right. So you might have a ton of folders, but these numbers refer to games. So I went into XCOM 2, and these are all my mods. <coughs> So the workshop works off numbers rather than names, which makes sense, because there's a shit ton of content on the workshop. I just went into a couple and had a look, and yep, sure enough, mods are there. So I knew my mods were there, they just weren't showing up here. What I did here was, um, I went into the workshop, now in the workshop, I just looked for a mod that I use, so we'll try evac call, see this is, this is now not working very well for me, the workshop, so I need to fix that somehow, I'm not that worried about it to be honest because it's, I don't care, I know the data's there, it's just, I can't view uh, subscribe mods that I've subscribed to, them. I'm sure it's an easy fix because it's an interface problem. Anyway, so we're going to evac all. So on that step, which was uh, running Steam plus config, I think one of the things it does is removes any ties between your Steam interface and workshop files. It doesn't delete the data. It just sort of removes any correlation between the two. So when you come into the workshop and it finally decides to actually open up the uh, the mod, it's taking its sweet ass time, isn't it? Need some need some elevator music going about there. Come on, dearie. Come on, you can do it. You can do it Wow, this takes forever. I was going into it before, so... I'm not sure what the problem is now. This could be a side effect of running that flush config, so... Just be aware, here we go. So it's showing up as... I'm not subscribed to it. Even though... I know it's there. Back all. Okay, so that's a side effect of of fixing your game via my method. Not end of the world, really. Probably the worst thing I have to do is just go through the list and resubscribe. Okay, so that might happen. So don't freak out if that happens. Now, after I had confirmed that my mods were okay and I discovered the workshop issue. Uh, I actually rebooted my computer at this point. I then ran the game. No, I did not. Pardon me. I rebooted my computer. I put my save data back. So after running the game once, this save data folder will reappear, but it'll be empty. It'll have a profile, .bin. I didn't bother backing it up. I just overwrote it with the one I've got, because I wasn't that fast. It's it's a file that gets generated whenever you run the game, and it doesn't need... Don't stress about it. You can back it up if you want. I didn't. I just blew over the top of it. It was fine. So, after reboot, I put my save data back, loaded the game, and all my saves were there, loaded up to save, and everything was peachy. So, it worked for me. There are a couple of side effects. You can judge whether you want to go through it or not. But hopefully, one of those earlier... Uh, one of those earlier solutions works for you, like Verified Game Cache, because that's an easy one. Anyway, I thought I'd make a short video, because I think, well, so far I've seen plenty of people with this problem, and I suspect there'll be plenty more, because the patch was only released today. So, there we go. Thanks for watching.